today I'm going to show you how I make my KFC style chicken tenders. These are so good. This is probably my best recipe. So first of all, I've got some chicken thighs here. And you need to bash them out. So what you want to do now is cut the chicken thighs into about four pieces. I like to leave the fat on mine because fat's flavour <laughs> and it kind of keeps the chicken a little bit more juicy. Okay. So now what we're going to do is make our spice mix. So here I've got some garlic, salt and onion powder, a teaspoon of each, a teaspoon each of cayenne pepper and white pepper. I'm doing the spicy version today, so if you don't like it spicy, just leave that out. And some coriander and sweet paprika. So you want to kind of actually use the whisk to make sure there's no lumps in there. Or you know, just do it as best you can. So now we're going to get the chicken ready to soak in the buttermilk. So first I've got two eggs. Just give them a whisk first. teaspoon of salt and then our buttermilk. You can use like it depends how much chicken you're using but I use you know almost a full carton. I usually have a little bit more chicken so I'm going to use a little bit less buttermilk. That's good. Make sure you whisk it together. So you just want to mix about a tablespoon or so of this spice mix with your chicken and we'll save the rest for later. So just give that a coat. And now we just add your chicken to your buttermilk mix. So normally I would um, let this soak overnight, but we don't really have that time today. So I'm just going to do it, do what I would normally do. So you want to leave your chicken soaking in your buttermilk overnight if you can. Otherwise, two hours minimum is okay. So now I'm going to prepare the flour mixture. So I've got here one cup of flour and one cup of corn flour. I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder and the rest of our spice mix from earlier. So I like to use a whisk to mix this because you really don't want any lumps and you want it all sort of evenly incorporated. So I'm going to deep fry it now. Now I would recommend if you can to use an electric fryer pan, a, a good one, or use a pan on, on your hot plate because it's really not that easy to clean afterwards. There's always a lot of sort of flour left at the bottom of the oil. So you don't really want to be filling up a deep fryer and have to clean that. It's so much easier to clean this than, you know, like a deep fryer with an element. So I'm just going to test one piece. If you're, um, you want to sort of do it on about 160 if you can. It can't be too hot or too cold. So I always start off just test one piece first. So you dip it into the flour mix. 
Make sure that's coated really well. In the oil. And it should take two, two minutes a side. Because if your oil is too hot, it's just going to burn the outside and your chicken's going to be raw in the middle. So we're ready to fry now. This is probably the most difficult part of the recipe because you do have to really get the oil at the right temperature. So I always test one first. There we go. for two minutes and then we'll flip them over and give them another two minutes. So I used uh, eight chicken thigh fillets for this and you get quite a lot of chicken out of it in the end. Just so I sort of freeze some and then you can pop it straight in the oven to heat up. You don't need any oil or anything like that. So good. Yeah. So that's ready to turn now. That cut, I'm really happy with the colour. You don't want it to be too brown, it should be golden. We set our timer for two minutes again. There we go. Mm. So that's been cooking two minutes on that side. Time to turn it over. You can see how that a lot of flour does get in that oil. So that's why you're better off using something like this. Um, but you can also strain the oil afterwards and reuse it if you like. So I'm going to set the timer again for two minutes. Mm. So that's looking good. This is ready to take out. Looking perfect. I'm liking my second batch a bit better because I just notched the heat down a touch and it's a bit lighter in colour. So that's looking just a little bit better than the first batch. But it'll still both be just as delicious. So we've got to do our chicken salt again. That's really important. For me it is anyway. I need chicken salt on this. I'm just going to make a little dipping sauce to serve with the chicken. So I've got one tablespoon of honey in here, one quarter cup of whole egg mayo. It's about Two tablespoons of sweet chilli sauce and then two teaspoons of your favourite hot chilli sauce. I'm using sriracha, so about you know, two teaspoons roughly. Give it a mix. This goes so well with the chicken. Now, if you don't like it spicy, obviously just leave out the hot chilli sauce. You can add a little bit more of the sweet chilli sauce. I'm just going to chop some spring onions to put on top of the dipping sauce. Serve some in our bowl. Spring onions 
things on top. And that's it. Nice now.